Wow, look at this. Hell yeah, everything's bigger in America. <laughs> and I've just been made aware that Harry's never driven anything. <gasps> oh my gosh. Ooh, stop it. The roaming Radfords are looking at American RVs here in Ocala. <laughs> I think we'll take it. We don't need to look at it anymore. We'll have this. You're buying this for half a million. Right. So guys, Matt is going to show us around the dealership and he's going to show us around a few units. Yes. And take George out in the buggy, in the golf cart buggy. Yes. He's got a golf cart right here. Look at this, to get around. In fact, they've got a load of golf carts. It's a 273RL. 273RL. Yes. So, how do we understand the 273RL? Is that a is that secret code or is it? It is secret code. code. So yeah. it lets you know that it's about 27 feet um, and it's RL for rear living. Rear living. Now with okay. that said, the manufacturers, they do that for the campgrounds. Yeah. So you say it's a 27 footer, but realistically it's probably like 32, 33 got feet. got the, uh, the tow hitch on the front. <gasps> yeah. Wow. Look at this, we've got a fridge here and yep. a sink right here. Nice ever chill fridge, sink, and a beer opener right there. Okay. <laughs> we like that. That's very good. Okay. Oh, look at this. It's rear living. I love this. Look at the size of this thing. Yep. Nice big TV here. Yep. You got a fireplace, it does produce heat from electricity. Sleeper sofa right here. Nice slow rise shades. Yep. Theater seats right here. I love real comfortable seats this, yes uh, yeah oh. now it? this considered like a mid-size yeah. for uh travel trailers there's definitely some that are a lot bigger than this yeah. um and it's so funny because like i can all i know how you guys feel because when i went over to europe i'm all like man these things are so small and compact and so this yeah. must feel huge to you but this will be the smallest unit that we look at today okay, okay. and this is a four berth four sleeper so yeah this is a uh, considered like a couples yeah um people don't like sleeping we this for the non-paying customers or for yeah. like your guests the kids. <laughs> right um but normally if somebody has kids that come with them they'll get a huge bunkhouse yeah. version of course. Fantastic. of course look we've got an island in the kitchen i love the kitchen huh? so much microwave <laughs> bread or bin. bread bin as we call it <laughs> i don't know what i'm doing wrong <laughs> shot maybe no, i don't know and is that ah okay good size fridge freezer hey eh? it smells like it should it doesn't smell like the one we've got yeah. oh it smells so bad <laughs> even after a week of having it and cleaning it yeah well it's beautiful now i'm gonna go back this go way back there. i'm gonna start with this oh my gosh look at the size of there. all right full size shower who are you rooting for oh look at this look yeah, neither do I. <laughs> isn't it? Yeah. It's just the right size, isn't it? Oh, it's beautiful. I'd have this in it for us. Just the two of us. And in here, nice big double bed fixed there. And you got nice big wardrobe area here and one either side of the bed. I would be happy with a fixed bed in this with that living space for the two right. of us. Absolutely. Oh, is it? Because we've been debating about the whole fixed bed. We don't like it in the van we have now yep. because we're traveling as a family and it feels like it's just, you know, during the day it's dead room. Yeah. You have to lie down to be comfortable. No, we like this. And like you can this. sit up in bed under this as well. It's a, it's a good enough height here. And it, Matt said this is the smallest one he's going to show us today. <laughs> <laughs> Everything's bigger. Okay. Matt, this is beautiful. Hell yeah, everything's bigger in America. <laughs> let's take a look at the big fifth wheel. Okay, let's do it. So a quick look at the outside. It's got a big slide out on this side and a smaller slide out on that side. Not that that's small, mind. And it looks like Harry is going to drive. <laughs> and I've just been made aware that Harry's never driven anything. Oh. All right. Look where you're going. Right right real quick. <laughs> All right, so go that way. Okay. Go back down that line. Stay away from anything. <laughs> yeah, I'll try. Yeah, I'm not sure how the insurance works. 
Well done, Hans. So this is a fifth wheel, for those that don't know in the UK what a fifth wheel is. Which means it can be towed, you need the, the hook on your flatbed of your truck rather than coming out the bottom of your truck. <laughs> now, do you know why they call it a fifth wheel? No. Okay, so the fifth wheel of a vehicle, the spare tire, uh -huh. is under the bed so that it hooks up into that so it's like a fifth wheel oh did not know that the more you know <laughs> and look matt and lynn's fit, both fit Where under that <laughs> <laughs> wow no. this got a few slide answers one yep now you were asking about tow vehicles so the yeah. travel trailers you need what's called like a half ton truck which is like a ford f-150 mm. for these you need at least a three-quarter ton truck or a one ton Whoa. truck which is like an f-250 or preferably an f-350 so like those big trucks with the double tires in the back mm -hmm. This is heavy. Right. I mean, it's big, it's a home on wheels. So the last one we looked at was 70 grand. Yep. Yeah, you wanna know what's crazy? I, I, I'll tell you the exact price on this. Um, That one was 69,000. Yep. Yeah. So realistically, you can get that for like 50,000. Okay. This one's a 2022 leftover, MSRP's 109. Okay. But you can buy this right now. We have it 36% off to $69,999. Shut the front door. That's a lot of rig for your money. No front door, it's only a side door. <laughs> yeah. Well, you, I mean, wait till you see the inside of and this. And it's, it's leftover 22 stuff. Yes, wow. that, and that's why, that's what makes it so inexpensive. Yeah. Wow, look at this. <laughs> this is fabulous. This is amazing. Absolutely. And this comes completely furnished with the sofas and the TV, Matt? $69,999. I think we'll take it. We don't need to look at it anymore. We'll have this. Yeah. Um, put it in perspective. Our motorhome retails for... This year is 109000 yep. pounds. So that would be a hundred and... Twenty. Twenty hundred and thirty dollars, something like that. Right. Thousand. Hundred and thirty thousand. <laughs> Look at this. For me. And you get all of this space. And the quality feels lovely as well. Look at it. Space is fantastic. Now the whole thing with fifth wheels is you need a hundred thousand dollar truck to tow it. Right. Yeah, of course. Yeah. You know. <laughs> <laughs> right. And then yeah, this yeah. one has uh, the middle the ki kitchen with a loft so, area. So we're up on the uh, fifth wheel part. See, so we're looking down here into the kitchen. Little dinette area here. And what size bed is that up there? I don't know. It's kind of like its own size, like Have a little that, area. There's a there's little bedroom up two, here. So there's a ladder that what? goes to a bunk bed and... Underneath, you've got a larder, pantry. This is amazing. Wow. I like the fact that we could all have a really comfortable sofa position. No one's going to be sat lopsided on a crack. Oh, look at the fridge. It's I got know. a wine section yes. there, is it? <laughs> Shame I'm giving up wine. Oh, this is a lot of rig for the money. It's beautiful, isn't it? Big, big microwave, big bread bin over there. Does this pull out? Okay. Do you, yeah, okay. Mum, you're breaking it. I'm just being nosy at how it works. Go and have a peek up there. Go on. Oh, it's actually oh, it's like a doll bed. Wow, and underneath. Bunk beds here. Oh my goodness, George, have you seen this? Right, we're getting this and I'm sleeping right on <laughs> No, I think And again, you've got a, an island in the kitchen with the yeah. sink and what have you. Oh, I just love this layer. I love this layer. Mm. How is this? I mean, is this long enough? I'll take my shoes off and check. Oh, oh mum. You've broken it all. Okay, I've not. It's Bumping fine. your head. Checking the size. <laughs> uh, absolutely fine. Oh, it goes further back. Love it. Look, I'm, I'm sleeping up there. <laughs> <laughs> But I think if our two big boys may be a bit tall for that. No, I'm sure it's six foot long. It's, for it's got to accommodate six foot. Has it? Surely. Oh, hanging that, space. Well, it's also prepped for a stackable washer and dryer. A stackable washer and dryer? Yes. Oh, so he's got all the plumbing in there and the electric for that. <laughs> everything, everything that you need. <laughs> you can so easily live in this. Bathroom. Size-wise, it feels... It feels similar, but look at all the height we've got here as well. Right. Okay. Ah. And through to the back. Okay, if I was putting in the modification, just because I'd put something up there. It's wasted hang. room. Wasted room up well, there. Well, no, I just oh, to hang clothing. Thing. Hang dry, wet things on okay. there. Well, you've got a tumble dryer next door. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and look at the bedroom. Right. Wow. And look at the height of them ceilings. So this is on the slide out here, you'll see. Ah, oh, of course. Right. Okay. Oh, and separate nice. thermostat control here. 
Yep, two AC units. Some of them have threes. Wow. King size bed back here. This is coming Amazing. with it. Bear in mind, ours doesn't come with AC. No. Doesn't come with a TV no. and things like that. Or the plumbing like, fixing oh, for a washer and dryer. Why isn't this sold yet, mate? We have a lot of RVs. You know, yeah. I mean, that they, they, you know, they stock so many. And if you guys were in the market for a fifth wheel, I mean, we'd have 10 different units to show. Yeah. And then we order so heavy, so, right. yeah. you know, some get left behind. We just need to find storage. Where are we going to store this when we're not here? How big's your driveway? Uh, <laughs> not my driveway. <laughs> okay. I would. Brilliant. <laughs> Favourite one yet, Matt. Favourite one yet. Quick look at the outside there. There's a ladder to go up top. You've got an awning on here. Small slide out over there. And you've got three separate slide outs on this side. Five slide outs. Three. three. And you say there's two AC units on the top, Matt? Yep. Fantastic. He said we're going to the big motorhomes, so he's going to drive. Like, without that fifth wheel wasn't big. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. So, the next unit we're going to see, we're going to see um, a good quality version of the unit that you were in. Uh -huh. And then stick around because this Discovery LXE, oh, this will be the grand finale. And that's what we really <laughs> call, we call real, that, that's what we really call a, a tandem axle. Okay. Yeah, our tag axle is just a pretend one. In the UK, yes. in the UK, these would be useless. We wouldn't be able to take them anywhere or right. do anything. But the roads but are just so big over here, and and the, the sites. Many of the sites have got pull through pitches, yeah. so you don't have to reverse them in, right? Oh yeah. We're in an Odyssey Integra on this one, guys. It's a bit squeezed in here, so I won't be able to show you so much of the outside. But I'm already liking the flush fitting windows here. They look very nice, isn't it? And it's got an awning on again. I think most of them have got an awning on. And plenty of storage in the lockers out here. Plenty of lockers. So, what you're about to show us is an Integra, is it? Integra Coach, this is an Odyssey 30Z. Now, out of every RV on the lot, this one's my personal favorite, dollar for dollar. I feel like you're getting the best quality uh, for the best price. I love the bunk over the cab with that front windshield. Right. As you can see, obviously this one's sold. When a 30Z hits the lot, all the salespeople like boiler room and they're just calling away because it sells so well. And this is, it's on an E450? Yes. Right, a Super Duty? No, I mean, this is just considered a traditional Class C. Most of them are on this though, aren't they? I see. Yep, yep, they're all made on the E450 chassis. Okay. All right, just straight up at the front by the cab. Oh, it's got a nice head unit in there. Oh, I love the swivel seat there. Yeah, and look, it's got a cushion to raise your legs yeah. because that's further down there, isn't it? Of course. So you got? That does not feel claustrophobic. Look how much space there is above it. Absolutely. Lovely. Dine it in the midships here. Yep, so this will become a double. You've got a double, a double. You've also got two comfy so <laughs> sofas here. Traveling. Hey, <laughs> and traveling seat. seat. That's in the slide out, big slide out on this side. Uh -huh. You can watch Kitchen's the over here seat. with a nice big bread bin. I can wow. just starting it out. The fridge freezer, and there's the big TV for you, look, George. MSRP's at 167, and it sold for 119.995. Nice large double in the back. I'm guessing the storage under here, Matt, and it'll flip up. Yeah, storage from the outside. Right. Oh, interesting. The from okay. the outside. Two AC units on here, look. Yeah. One here, one in there, look. and a bathroom there. In Great you go. size bathroom. Cause the sink's there. Right. Again, you've got a full-size shower. Yeah. Yep. And then there's a area up here. So this is kind of the equivalent of ours then. Yep. Yeah. I guess okay. so. Yeah. yeah. Similar. Similar. Yeah. What's really funny is you were telling me when you went to Dusseldorf, you're looking for RVs that sleep five. Mm -hmm. In America, almost every RV technically sleeps four or five. Yeah. Really? And then something that sleeps a lot would be eight or nine or ten people. I know. Because every dinette makes a bed. This has theater seats, but most of the time it's a sofa. Uh -huh. Every sofa makes a bed. You always have a bunk over the cab here, so. And in the one we were going to look at, you said yes. there were bunks. Where yeah. would that be in here? So the um, the bedroom would be a little bit smaller. This uh -huh. living room would be a little bit smaller. And there was bunk beds. So that one sleeps eight or nine people. Wow. Yep. Tell me about the water tanks. Fresh, gray, black water tanks. What's the usual capacity in the States? I can tell you exactly what the specs are. <laughs> So like, 
what we have is we have a lot of instant tankless water heaters, which is really nice. Um, but gray, fresh water's 43.5 gallons. Gray water's 41 gallons. Black water's 31 gallons. Gotcha. But the, the big thing is, it's like a lot of people are like worried about their tank sizes. You really don't need to because in America, when you go to a campground, a majority of them have dump areas. Yeah. So you just dump He's, it every so day. So he says that. We've been doing Cracker Barrel stops. Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. And we so were full up, we right? We boondock. So, yes, we've been yeah. boondocking. And, yeah, if uh, you're we, a boondocker, yeah. tank sizes are important. Absolutely. Can I just point out something that I've spotted in here that is really fantastic? Yes. This shelving and the storage, you've got a built-in brew shelf. <laughs> as uh, Rick Beecher would call it, <laughs> um, and this is this is great for the kids' tech or whoever's yeah, love it. Okay, now generators, they're they're not a thing in the UK at all. They're yeah. pretty frowned upon. Oh well, this is America, and we don't yeah. frown. <laughs> <laughs> From what you've shown us so far, do any of these come with generators? So every motorhome comes with a generator. The class, some of the class Bs, some of the small ones. They're now coming with the lithium ion batteries. Right. Um, but the travel trailers and the fifth wheels, they don't come with generators. Uh, the fifth wheel is prepped for a generator, but the motorhomes, this one and everything else does have generators. Come with a generator as standard. Mm. Yeah. Wow, okay, fantastic. This Love it. It's great. Do like it, isn't it? Yeah. It's kind of the equivalent of ours, really, isn't it? But I, it's like a nicer that. version. Yeah. Right, yes. absolutely. You guys ready for the grand finale? Yes. Come on, right. let's do it. Let's do it. I, actually, no, I want to keep looking at these all day. <laughs> We've got slide out on this side, slide out on the back, and a uh, no slide out this side, but you got the awning on there. Yeah. And Matt, we said this one was? 119. 119. Yes. Fantastic. These, uh, these small vans, the small sprinters, they're a big thing for van lifers over here, but they're not cheap. What kind of money? These are like over 100 grand, these, aren't they? Yeah, so like you get one on the Ram, that's like 120, 130,000. You get one on the Mercedes, they're gonna be 200,000. Wow. So it's funny because like, you guys are looking at these RVs saying how inexpensive they are, which right. is true. But when I was over in Europe and I was looking at your vans, you can get a Mercedes van for 119 yeah, sure. that we were looking at, like a Heimer. Right. So it's like, yeah, our traditional RVs are cheaper over here. But when it comes to your camper vans, they were a lot better priced and a lot more innovative over there than what they are over here. Right, right. Do you want to look at one? No, 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 we're good. We're good. Okay. We're all right. Let's go look at the big one. Yes. I just wanted to discuss the price of them there. That's all. Yeah. I knew there were right. a lot more money over here. Yeah, for the B vans, which right. doesn't make much sense at all. Doesn't, does it? Nope. Okay. Slide outs. There's two massive slide outs on this one, and another two big slide outs this side. And that's a proper tag axle, that is. You know, I think I'll be a little bit daunting for me to drive that, but I'd give it a go. Do you need a special license to be able to drive something this big in the US? So, these diesel pushers, yes, because they're over 26,000 uh, pounds. You need what's called a Class B non commercial driver's license. And it's funny because when you call some of the MVAs, it's all like, well, how do I take the test? And they say, well, drive your motorhome to the MVA. So it's just like, well, how do you expect me to drive the motor home? It's, it's kind of a silly system. Yeah. But I didn't 22. say that. No, <laughs> that's fine. We respect the system. It's fine. Yes. And if that's all we have to do, then we'll do that. Fact, yes. what, did, what did we hear the other day the guy said? Um, it, the, our Uber driver was from Turkey originally, okay. and his daughter had just taken her driving license yep. and her test. And for the test, she spent less than one minute driving the vehicle. She just had to do three different maneuvers. Heck yeah, left, left, and left. Great. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go now. We do have entry level diesels, but like when you get into nice class A diesels, this is kind of like, like if somebody's like, I want a high end class A diesel, this is like where they would first look at a Discovery LXE, which to me and to a lot of people, this is very nice, but this one's about half a million dollars. And when you get to the custom coach, um, 500,000 is kind of like, hey, that's what I want to spend to get my feet wet. Then you get 700, a million, two million dollars. Right, yeah. and I've so. seen some of them on the TV. Yeah. Uh, you saw the two million euro right. Vargan. 
Yeah. In Dusseldorf. How do they compare to that? Just before so, we... yeah. Not the colour scheme, because that yeah. guy had some that strange taste with the purple. Purple and orange was right. odd, wasn't it? Correct. So, my, I loved the Volkner. Yeah. And I loved how it was something that I was not used to. Yeah. Here's what I will say. Amer Europe is a hundred thousand times better when it comes to the small compact motorhomes. I do believe, as and don't get me wrong, we're not talking quality, but looks. I believe America wins when it comes to It's what you yeah. do looks. best. Come on. Yeah, okay. Absolutely. Hang on. It is interesting to see the tastes, uh, the difference in a taste between Okay. So this one's half a million. Half a million dollars, yep. We don't need to take our shoes off. Nope. Be careful, don't touch things, guys. Look with your eyes, okay? <laughs> oh, look at this up front. It's a great place to be. Look at this. The TV up there. <gasps> oh, wow. Um, hang on, I need to get your reaction. <laughs> I already love the front. These seats look... Oh, my gosh. There's just so Look much of it. This. Look how much room there is. I love this. This floor is amazing, isn't it? And it just feels so spacious. Imagine BB-8 playing on this floor, George. Now I added scratch. Okay. <laughs> oh no, that's nice. Look, it's a little slide out a little table slide there. It'll slide in. So again, oh. love the finish. A lot better looking than the Volkner, huh? <laughs> the orange and purple just do doesn't do do us justice. Didn't do that it justice. was the, the buyer's own taste. Yeah. I think he was very into his music. Look at the ceiling here. Yeah. With all them, all this is for your aircon, right? Yep, three AC units on this. The three AC. This <laughs> fridge and freezer is nearly bigger than the one we have at home. I think it's the yeah, same size as the one we have at home. No, it's slightly wider. And a pull-out freezer drawer. I love them. Pull them out. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh, it just keeps going. Fantastic. So, lovely big TV. This is a huge slide out here. Yep. Another slide out on this side here with four seats. Oh, yeah. For the cinema. Look at that. Although, you can get six people on there. Easy. They'll all be recliners. And there are there four belts on there as well? Yep. Or is it? Wow. Seat belts. Wow. Seats. So. Okay. And the kitchen is beautiful. Just feel the space in here. Just feel the space. Yeah. Okay. And this as well. It's a microwave, oven, Co yeah, and oven. does everything. Yeah, there's no propane on this coat. <gasps> uh, dishwasher. Dishwasher. <laughs> oh, that is just, isn't it? Yeah. That's nice. <laughs> there's a bench in the shower for if you get tired. Oh. <laughs> so what is in here? Okay. Oh, oh, I okay. oh, toilet. Midship toilet. That's nice, isn't Lovely. it? Lovely. And sink and vanity. Facilities here look great, guys. Yeah. <laughs> More than ample. More than ample. Oh, look at the screen. Yeah. Look at this screen right here. Oh, is that for the... Uh... Yeah, to control everything. I like yeah. that. Wow. <laughs> the lighting in different areas. Galley. Okay. Wow. Okay. And let's get through to here. Gosh, Opposite. so this will come out. So this bit, right, that's a put awake and, and that'll just slide out into... It is, isn't it? Another TV in here. Yeah. A new 22 LG. His and hers wardrobes. Right. Yeah. This is something special. And then, oh, wow. Oh. <laughs> Look at that shelf. Wow. You guys do this right, man. <laughs> you guys really do this right. <laughs> And another, it's got two <laughs> toilets. <laughs> okay, we've got a toilet each. <laughs> what do you think, George? This is as good as our house. <laughs> <laughs> right. It's amazing. It is beautiful. It is beautiful. Amazing. I could full time in this, what do you reckon? Oh, I think so. Oh, sorry, I've got to open everything now. Okay. Ooh. Stop it! <laughs> <laughs> what have we got in there? The washer dryer? Yeah. Oh. Look and at laundry that. facilities. Look at that. Wow. Yeah. How, how long can we stay in the States for at a time? Is it three months, yeah, six I months think at a time? So. Very oh, we could get a working visa. Oh, this is a USB port. <laughs> you catching up your socials? I am. I'm just <laughs> posting that the roaming Radfords are looking at American RVs here in Ocala. Hey, fantastic. I just. 
I know I did that one already. Wow. Great, isn't it? Love it. Yeah. So half a million. Yes. Is the retail, but this is a current model, right? Any deals yeah. on this? No, I, I, I believe that you're buying this for half a million. I can tell you the exact price in a second. Right. Yeah. Look at it through there, guys. It's just not much more. Than Look at it through there. It's just massive. You can play football in there, guys. Yeah. I could have my droid roll around. Yeah, couldn't you? And if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Looking at this, this is aircon. Absolutely, this will sit on the way in. Yeah, right. Point it at you, <laughs> and then keep pointing it at you, Point and then I don't need it. In my like... three duvets, <laughs> <laughs> compared to your Arctic condition. But you see, this is a 22 model. This is quite 22, a latest. 22, 23? No, this is going to be a 23. A 23. Yeah. Sorry, my phone's acting. That's okay. So there's no deals on this one. There's always deals. <laughs> Come and see Matt and the team. So this one is six twenty with twenty five percent off to four sixty four. So after taxes, uh, about half a million. Now, if you like this, there is a twenty two left over at our Tampa store for three hundred eighty eight thousand. That's wow. about forty percent off. Six of the saving. Three hundred eighty eight thousand. Yep. I know I like the latest iPhone, but I probably want to make the saving and just get last year's model, isn't it? Yeah. Such a saving on last year's model, Matt. Yep. I, um... But again, so there's pros and cons to that. It's like, yeah, you're saving a ton of money buying last year's model, but you are also buying it and it's already one year old. Mm -hmm. So it's just like, what I like to tell customers is, you're either saving the money now or saving the money later. So you get a really good deal today, but when you trade it in, in the year 2025, you're now trading in a three-year-old coach. Whereas if you buy this one, you're paying a little bit more today, but when you trade in in 2025, you're trading in a two-year-old coach. And it holds the value right. more than that. Pros and cons. But does it? Mm, interesting. It, it all yeah. balances out at the end of yeah. the day. Most people, if, if you see the right unit and it's a leftover, buy it now. But here's what else I like to tell people is if you love the interior of this one, right? Yeah. The white on white, and the 22 leftover has a brown interior and you don't love it, me personally as a salesperson, I would not save the money to buy the brown one. Mm. Spend a little bit more money, get the one that you like on the most thing, mm. on, on the interior. Because at the end of the day, it's a depreciating asset. Mm. And so what I like to tell customers is, when you drive off the lot, you're losing 50 grand, mm. right? You might as well lose the 50 grand in the unit that you love the most rather than s losing 40 grand yeah. and getting one that you don't truly love. Yeah. Well, um, sorry, I've just spotted something else that we didn't point out. As go we ahead. Came in. The, um, the drop down bed over the cab. Yes. Oh, yes. That's where. Um, so that would be where the, the Tesla kids, I assume. Yeah, th this motorhome's designed not to bring the kids. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. if you have to. It's, it's probably the grandkids if, if you get stuck yeah. with them for a little well, while. What they say here, and I always forget the saying, but um, oh. you can you can have dinner with six, entertain four, but sleep two. Okay. Yep. Like it, like it. Right, yeah. get in, in there. Yeah. Guys, so Matt, thanks so much for showing us around these today, mate, You've been taking the time out. Thank you. Awesome. Amazing. Absolutely. You. And how do people get in touch if someone's in the States and want to come and view these? GeneralRV.com. You can go to Matt's RV Reviews website, uh, Matt'sRVReviews.com, and we'll link you to GeneralRV.com. We do have dealerships nationwide, um, 14 locations. So if you, we do not rent, just so everybody knows. Yes. But if you are looking to buy, go, um, Go to mattsrvreviews.com and click that you're ready to buy. Then I have a special team with General RV that will get you guys the best price in America. Right. Burr, 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 burr. Hey, <laughs> and you can tour all of these um, units on my YouTube channel. Yeah. There it is. mattsrvreviews.com. Fabulous. Thanks, Matt.